Hello and welcome to our Rise of Factory tutorial in 3 Disc Max. Uh, it's quite a simple one today, uh, basically making this flight path as you can see in the perspective view. So the cube is basically following a path. This can work for all sorts of things like cars, planes, it's quite a good uh, useful tool so you don't have to animate every the, um, path and uh, you get a fairly realistic flight path for example a plane okay, I'm just going to go file research you've got to see enough already ok we're going to start by creating a box or if you've got uh, an object you want to any object you want it to follow a path I'm just going to use a box because it's easy for now just get it down a bit So I've used about 40 by 40 by 30 in the modified tab. You can change these parameters. And then now I want to create the path that the uh, cube will follow. So we go into our create tab and then shapes, then click line. And in the top view we can create a line. If you want to do a straight line, you just cl uh, click um, and then drag it and then click and then click and then keep on clicking around. But if you want to curve, you click your initial position, and then click and hold it, and then drag in the direction so you create a nice curve. And then again for the next, so you click and drag, and click and drag, and then just create your path um, wherever you want it to go. That looks quite good. If you want it to go up and down, just go in the front view, go on the modifying tab select the vertex tool and then you can just drag it up and down, move them around um, if you haven't made a decent um, line to start with you can then just adjust it later on so that's quite handy, I'm just going to leave it up for now then we want to make it so our box is following this line so while selecting our box we go in the motion tab and then on the tab assign controller click the plus so bring up this um, box uh, click on position and then click on the assign controller button which is a question mark then brings up all our controllers we want we only want the path constraint so click on that and OK and then under path parameters click add path and then click on our path as you can see it the box then follows the path along it's not that good at the moment, but if we go down and we click on follow, the box then follows with one face, so it, it's only going in one direction. And if we've got like a plane, uh, it's quite handy, highlight bank, so then as it goes around the corner, it starts to uh, bank as it says rotate. So it's quite a decent tool for, as I say, planes. You can then adjust the uh, smoothness of the uh, path following the bank amount, so you can adjust how much it will go along. So that's a pretty good technique. Hopefully, you get decent um, results out of it. Uh, thank you for watching. Look out for more tutorials.